In this video, we're going to be reviewing the Ringside Collectibles exclusive WWE Ultimate Edition 2-pack of the Steiner Brothers. This pack is available over at Ringside Collectibles. If you want to go over there and grab it, go use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. We've waited on this pack a long time, man. It feels like these were kind of revealed to us a while back, and this is a fantasy booked project, man. A lot of people have wanted these in Ultimate Edition form in this Steiner Brothers look for a while. I think this has been on a lot of people's wish list for a long time now, and I'm glad to be able to review it here today for you, man. We have the Steiner Brothers 2-pack. Pack. Again, ringside exclusive. This is the third installment of these Ultimate Edition 2-packs. We got the Usos. We got the Outsiders. Now we do have the Steiner Brothers here. Really dig the face and face packaging. You have Rick. You have Scott. You have the Steiners down the middle. Mattel, ringside exclusive, obviously. We spin it to the left. You will see this cool Steiner Brothers logo. It says 1993 Steiner Brothers Rick and Scott. Is this an official logo? I've never seen this logo in my life. Maybe I'm just a clown, but you got the number pattern up here too, which is very cool. On the back, you get the yellow WWE logo, and then on the other side, we get the Ultimate Edition logo here. And then on the top, we do get the Ultimate Edition logo, but this is just kind of the box set deal that they usually come with. Why is the exposure all damn weird? This is kind of what the expectation is behind these WWE Ultimate Edition 2-packs. They usually come in a shipper box, like a brown shipper, and then they have the two-box packaging presentation here, and then what you do is you open up the top here, and then you can reveal the two separately individualized packages in here, and then you can remove the individual packages from inside. And thus it leads us to our two individually packaged Ultimate Edition Rick and Scott Steiner and damn, these look really damn good. I'm really enjoying what I'm seeing right here, man. Can't wait to unbox these, but you do have a regular Ultimate Edition pack. Why in the hell is there paint on there? What is that? Are you seeing this? What, is, what in the hell is that? There seems to be some sort of schmutz on the box right here. It looks like paint. Is that all like paint? Look at that. It's smudging. Regardless of the fact, these do look really good. I'm excited for these, man. Loving the colors, especially on Scott over here. But we're going to pop these guys out of the packaging, but before we do that, let's spin around to the side. You do have a nice shot of the individuals on the side there, and then they do have the classic block WWE we logo up here and then on the back you do get some nice product shots and then you do have an image of both gentlemen there it's crazy that we even have these man it really is you have their names on the side but it seems like everybody wanted these for so long and they finally were revealed we got to you know i think it was maybe over a year ago now or right around a year it was revealed that they had signed legends deals and everybody was fantasy booking when are the signers coming when are the signers coming and now here they are in the plastic here to review and i cannot wait for it man so what we're gonna do is crack them out of the packaging find out what they're all about man but with that being said let's Wait, no further. Let's crack the Ultimate Edition Steiner Brothers out of the packaging and find out what they're all about. So here's our Ultimate Edition 2-pack Steiners out of the packaging, and my oh my, I am very glad that these guys made it in before the end of the year, because now I can include them in my top 10 or top Ultimates of the year if I want to. You know, I always want more figures, more figures, so that we can take everybody into account when we account for those top figures of the year, when we get into the Elites or the Ultimates or the best WWE or Wrestling Action Figures of the year, but man, this pack is very, very strong right now, man. I have already been dumbfounded by a lot of the things I'm seeing here. I can tell that there's been a lot of level of detail and care put into this pack, and we're going to dive into every single aspect of that, but Jesus, this is a pretty impressive set so far, man. I can't wait to dive into it with you. We're going to start off with their accessories, of course, and then we're going to get into the figures themselves individually, do some comparisons, but man, this set is very fun. I cannot wait to showcase these to you. It is a... I, I, I really am kind of lost for words on the quality of these individual figures so far, but let's dive into it, man. We'll see where they stack up at the end. But let's get into it with their accessories. So here's all the accessories you get with the Steiner Brothers 2-pack. Quite a bit, right? No championship belts or anything, but I think there's plenty of quality here that you'll enjoy. Now, let's start things off with Scott's accessories and his head sculpts here. We have kind of a shocked face or kind of just like a speaking face kind of. It's a little bit of a weird expression, but I think the likeness is really good. Considering everything, you know, and you know, it's, it's very impressive how they can take these head sculpts of people that no longer look like this in current day and are able to sculpt them out or scan their photos and create them like this is just a testament to how good the designers are and how good technology is nowadays. Then we also have this straight face, which I also like, and pardon my thumb there, got a little cutsy, so you know how that is. I just put some tape on it, so I, but the straight face right here is funny, and it kind of reminds me of a teammate and friend I had in high school. He looks just like him, kind of. It's kind of creepy. He didn't have a mullet, but it would have been a lot cooler if he did, but then we also have this smiling head sculpt. I like all three. I think the likeness is pretty good here. No yelling expression, which I would have liked. This one's close, but not really, right? I would have liked an angry 
angry, and I guess technically these are kind of angry, but you have a smile, a straight face, and kind of a mid-expression. But I like these. The mullet flowing hair is very cool. I think that they did a really good job on these head sculpts. I think they're solid. And then also with Scott, you get their Letterman jackets. Now, you don't get a Block M or any logos on these, but I do want to give a huge shout-out to the Michigan fans, man. Great win over Ohio State. Massive underdog. Playing without some of your best players. Losing your head coach. Losing a lot of talent. And you just go over there and beat their A. Even though they have all that talent, that was exciting to see. But roll tide. But shout-out to the Maze in Blue. But it's weird because, and this is probably accurate to real life, but their jackets are a little different. Now, I'm guessing it's just because maybe their Letterman jackets changed year to year. But you have the stripes on there, and this has like a felty material, and then this is kind of a pleather material. But you'll notice that Scott's jacket has a lighter yellow, and then Rick's jacket has more of a darker, more accurate. I feel like this is more accurate to the actual maize color of Michigan. And then this is kind of that lighter highlighter. This this yellow right here kind of reminds me of early 2000s Michigan, like early mid-2000s Michigan, like the Chad Henney days. And then this kind of is a more accurate, like, I, I don't know, this just seems better to me. But again, this is probably accurate. Again, I don't, I, you know, I'm no connoisseur of the Steiner Brothers, but the jackets are very quality. The Velcro, they fit the figure well. Very nice jackets, and I like both of them a lot. And you'll see there are slight differences. Sleeves come all the way up to the neck there, and then on Scott's, it's more of a vest. But both of them are very cool, and you get some stripes on Rick's. Very cool stuff indeed, and I'm sure if you want the Block M's or anything like that, you could probably go to somebody. But these are very high-quality jackets. And then when you get into Rick's head sculpts, we get in this entire box set, you do get six brand new head sculpts. So you're getting a lot of new work here. The likeness on this is very good. You do have the headgear on there, which looks really good. And the chin strap goes around. And one thing that's really cool about these is you have this stern head sculpt. Then you have this kind of pissed off head sculpt. And you'll notice the chin strap is actually operational. So you can come underneath the chin right here and you can port this in to this hole. You port that in right there. And then look, now you have an operational chin strap and it can go and better than that. I have not, uh, may have to finagle it a little bit, but you can get it in there. Anyways, there's what it looks like when you have it on there, and it goes underneath the chin, which is just such a good detail, man. They did so good on these. And then you also have the wide open mouth sculpt, which is another really good one, man. So expressive, so, so nice, man. And again, operational chin strap, you come underneath right there, and you can port that in, which is just such a cool detail, man. And this is not going to just plop out on you. They did, they did a great, great job here. What a ridiculous craftsmanship on these head sculpts. But then each man comes with a pair of fisted hands. Rick has the white hand tape and a lighter skin tone, and then Scott's has no hand tape with the darker skin tone. Each man also comes with a pair of mic holding hands, and then each man comes with the throne sitting, clasping, gorilla press style hands. So getting into Rick, starting out the head sculpt, we already discussed it. it. Looks really, really good, man. One thing I really like about this figure, though, is the chest hair right here, man. Really, I talk about this all the time. Some people don't care about it. I think it's a very underrated detail, and it really brings the figure to life when they include the chest hair. And look how clean palleted that is, man. You have the numbers gear right there in the pink and black. You have the dog face gremlin tattoo on the shoulder right there. And I really like the build of this figure. I can't tell if this is a new torso. I want to say this is a new torso, but I could be mistaken. But this all looks really, really clean, man. All of it just looks so good. You have his other tattoo over here on this shoulder, spinning around to the back. Got the singlet coming over the top there. Number and everything looks good. You get a little bit of a loss continuation there, but I guess it doesn't matter. Ah, it's not that bad. Not bad at all. I think that looks pretty clean. White wrist tape, white hand tape, and then you do have the crotch piece with the singlet going down and then he does have pinless joints with the smaller black knee pads that I like uh, not pinless I don't like pinless but I do like the knee pads here and then we have a really unique boot mold here because we have a brand new boot sculpt on the right boot over here with the white red and silver laces and then we get the short boot which is cool because he does have a shin cut and no boot cut right there which we'll get into the articulation but all the colors and stuff look really good the palette is nice everything looks high quality it's a very just very fair figure man it looks very very clean and then we get into Scott here before going over articulation and again it looks really good I like the way the head sits on the neck it looks very proportionate and everything he does have those massive biceps from his last elite the elite 105 which I think work good here it's a nice balance a very just sculpted individual man I mean look at the singlet with the zebra stripes or that kind of I don't know tie-dye style print going across in the half and half but everything right here just looks like a unit it all works well it's all proportionate and looks very solid like the red and the colorations of the rainbow there very clean get a little bit of over 
silver done there on the bottom of the of the singlet, but that's not a huge deal to me. It doesn't bother me that bad. I could always acetone that off if it, you know, starts to bug me. But going down, he does have the blue knee pads, same size as the last ones. They are the smaller kind. And then he does have the white boots, which look really, really good, man. Ultimate style boots with the red laces. Just a really cool gear. I really like this gear they chose for Scott. I think this is very clean. Now, both of these figures do scale pretty well together. I'm not sure if Scott is taller or not, but he is an inch probably taller right there. I don't know their exact heights, but these don't look bad to me. But I, again, I'm no just expert on the situation, but they look to, they look pretty fair to me. I think they look pretty damn good for the most part, and I think they did an excellent job replicating these guys right here. But as far as articulation is concerned, we can start things off with Scott right here. You're not going to get a ton because it is just a ball joint. There's no ball hinge or anything there, so you're not getting a ton there. Diaphragm movement, pretty smooth and stuff. And I'll say, regardless of the articulation, he just feels so buttery smooth. Both guys do, but you get the nice butterfly joint coming across right there. He does have massive biceps, so I feel like that's a win right there on that butterfly butterfly articulation. You get the bicep swivel, jack shoulders, double jointed arm here, which is nice. Tight waist swivel. He does have drop down hips, and I found that they can kick forward. It may take a little bit of maneuvering, but you can get it done. Just be careful. Always when you're articulating this, man, be sure to, when you're pushing it up, like kind of hold it together in one piece. Don't just be flopsy all out here, but he does have upper thigh cut, which is very, very snug, and then you do get a very clean, buttery, smooth, double jointed knee. He has boot swivel here. He gets a solid, this is the older ankle articulation. This is not the new kind, but he does have the toe pivot as well. I'm guessing that the Ultimate Editions probably will keep the older, you know, the old school articulation. I don't imagine they're going to get the new boots with the added boot detail, but I guess I could be wrong about that. But for now, they do all have the older articulation with the added toe, which is preferred, I think, for me. I just think the way that the figure stands and everything just looks so good, man. Just a great aesthetic of the figure. But as far as Rick is concerned, getting him in here and articulating him, not a ton of down movement because he has a longer chin and that chin strap there. But, you know, you get a little bit of head pivoting, not very much, though. And then his, you know, it's an Ultimate Edition, so you don't get the best ab crunch. That's something I wish they could improve on Ultimate Editions is the ab crunch. But the diaphragm is good. The waist is good. All of this is pretty clean. His butterfly joint isn't as good as Scott's, I don't think. Uh, maybe maybe it's the same. I don't know. It just looks like it is cut off a little bit more. Uh, maybe they are the same. Actually, I think they may be even the same torso, actually. For some reason, Rick looks a little wider to me, but I could be wrong about that. But you do have the bicep swivel, double jointed arms, obviously. He can go out, of course, here. And then he can kick out straight there. They have the drop down hips. I mean, that is what it is there. But you do have double jointed knee. You get the shin cut, which is technically a boot cut because the boot does not rotate individually. Then you have the boot cut over there. And again, he has the same kind of boot cut as the rest here. But I do want to get into some uh, different comparisons between Rick and Scott and some other figures here. So let's take a look at some comparisons. So for your Steiner Brothers figure comparisons, we have the Elite 105 Scott Steiner over here and the Elite 104 Rick Steiner over here. And I think these look pretty damn good, man. I like how you have the Dawn of Two Eras here. And I think all, I mean, all four of these figures are very good. I think they're good representations of the characters and everything like that. And I think that you can tip the cap to them. I don't think you're going to have any issues with these Ultimate Editions right here. I'm very shocked at them and they have shocked me greatly. I love that they included the giant biceps for the Scott. But then another thing I want to do is I want to bring in the Braun Breaker so you can see what he looks like in between these ultimates here. So we do have the Elite 104 Brawn in here, and you can tell that the color of the, the, the pink here, probably a little more accurate over here. It's a lot more saturated over here, but I guess maybe that's how Brawn did his gear. I can't remember exactly when he wore it there. But then another one, if you guys wanted to bring in the Elite, what is it, 114 Brawn, you can bring that in there and see that comparison as well. Kind of compare these two, even though these are not what the review is about. Still kind of goes hand in hand there if you wanted to do so. But yeah, man, I mean, you got the whole Steiner family going on here. I think they all look really good, and I think it'd be fun if you put them in a Fed. You put all three of them in a damn Steiner family fed deal. I don't know, but that does it for your figure comparison. But I think that about wraps up our two-in-one or WWE Ultimate Edition ringside exclusive two-pack of the Steiner brothers Scott and Rick. And my lord, man, these really, really impressed me throughout the entire thing. From the moment I unboxed them, it just seems like there's something about them. It reminds me a lot of the Ultimate Edition Brock Lesnar that I love so much. Not so much that it's as, as good as that, you know, but it is very good. Both figures are made so quality. It just seems like they started from the top of the head to the soles of the feet and they put every amount of effort into every aspect of the figure and the the joints feel good the the figures move very well the head sculpts are good the jackets are phenomenal the gears are very vibrant and I'm not even Steiner brother connoisseurs right I'm not you know this 
oh my god, I love the Steiner Brothers, you know what I mean? So I can't be, you know, I'm not a super fan of these guys or something like that, but these figures are very impressive. I am very impressed. And even if you go back to their main Elite line figures, those are really good too. So I don't know, it's something, it's like there's some fans of the Steiner Brothers over there at Mattel or something, man. It's like Damian Priest. They're, they just have really good figures. They bat a thousand so far. It's something that's crazy here. But these figures are really good. The Ultimate Edition Steiners are chef's kiss. This is going to be a couple figures that is going to be hard to leave off of your list, I think, when you talk about the best Ultimate Editions and the best Ultimate Editions this year in particular. They're going to be up there. And I know they have pinless joints and stuff, but they're not stiff like we've seen. They, they feel a lot more improved. I'm not getting the weirdness out of these figures that I've seen out of some figures this year with posability and movement. A very impressive pack overall, and I think that you should grab them. If you're a Steiner Brothers fan or this is the pack you've been waiting on, or you're like, eh, am I going to hold out for the Elites? Am I going to hold out for this? Am I going to wait on that? I wouldn't wait, man. I think if you want Steiner Brothers, this is the set, and it's not even close. You need to go ahead and buy them. And if you want to do so, use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% at Ringside Collectibles because they are Ringside exclusive. You cannot get these anywhere else. That is the only place you can obtain them. Now, another thing is that I, I would not... Now, does everybody need Steiner Brothers representation in their collection? No, but if you are somebody that wants these guys or you're thinking about these guys or this or that, I would not hesitate. These are the go-to Steiner Brothers and they're the only Steiner Brothers they've made, but I wouldn't hold out. I would absolutely buy these. They are top of the notch and everything you could ask for out of Steiner Brothers, in my opinion. I don't see how you could how you could fault it. They are really, really impressive, man. But that is pretty much going to wrap up my review of this set. I'm very impressed. I think they're great. But I'm getting the hell out, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your thoughts on these down in the comment section below. Go check out our video the last few days, man. We have a lot of really cool videos about, you know, ranking figures. We did my WrestleMania vlog. We got some news. There's a lot of stuff going on over there that I'd greatly appreciate, man. But that is going to wrap the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me all of your thoughts on these down in the comment section below. And a huge shout out to our Patreon members, man. You guys are unbelievable. Thank you guys so very much for everything. I love you so much. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>